agriculture is finally on the agenda of climate change negotiations, but not yet at its very core. But at least I see from COP to COP, we, we have made landmark achievements and crucial commitments, but are still struggling to bring them to life and speed up their implementation. Many joint efforts are ongoing to adapt our agro-food systems to climate change and mitigate their greenhouse gas emissions, but are still lagging compared to other sectors. Germany aims, therefore, to mainstream adaptation and mitigation measures within development cooperation and strengthen the discourse on agriculture in climate change. Research continuously is putting the spotlight on the agricultural sector within the climate change discourse. So the importance of research goes far beyond, far beyond creating more and better knowledge. To operationalize and implement the NDC's data on actual greenhouse gas emissions and aerosols specific to each country and sector are indispensable but are still limited, especially for the African uh, continent. Therefore, research done, for instance, at IRI's Mazingira Center in Nairobi, focusing on understanding and managing the environmental footprint of African livestock system without hampering productivity is so relevant and timely. Just to take that as one example, a lot more needs to be done and we do a lot more. However, all our efforts are in vain if we do not have new solutions to the groundbreaking and freely available, available public goods produced by agricultural research more than ever. This includes new technologies, management practices, and high performance varieties adapted to extreme weather conditions, pests, and diseases. From the drought tolerant bean varieties developed at SEAT to IRI's solar based drying technologies and the water efficient irrigation systems of IMWE. Germany is a firm and long standing supporter of international agricultural research for development since its very beginning. This includes the support of international gene banks that safeguard agrobiodiversity. But we need to do more and deliver tangible and widespread impacts on the ground for the many. Therefore, we call for more, not less, commitment to the publicly funded international agricultural research system. At the, time, at the same time, research and implementations partner need to foster and forge more and closer partnerships. Only this way we can ensure that research products continue to make its way to large numbers of farmers in developing countries. With the One World No Hunger Initiative of BMZ launched in 2014, BMZ has invented, invested 1.5 billion euros per year in food, agriculture and rural development. The CGIR centers, together with the World Vegetable Center and ECP, work hand in hand with many of our new created 13 green innovation centers for the agriculture and food sector that were set up by the One World No Hunger Initiative. Against the backdrop of climate change, still much more needs to be done. In this light, we highly appreciate CCAF's efforts and dedication to unite us here today in the joint effort of promoting investments for climate action in agriculture. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we urgently need an inclusive, climate-smart development of smallholder agriculture in developing countries. Thank you very much. Uh, my question is, how can we really, um, at the government level, enhance space for the private sector to invest more? Well, 
very general and specific at the same time, most important, um, I would say, in, increase uh, or yeah, work for better con uh, conducive uh, environment for, for the private sector. That mainly, first and foremost, needs to be done uh, at country level. Yeah, where um, uh, food security, agriculture, rural development, and all that uh, um, uh, needs uh, needs to work hand in hand, really, to improve uh, to improve um, uh, resilience of of people. And so, I, I would say, in, in the, uh, as a final remark, we we must start to think beyond just farm. Yeah. We must think of a whole agriculture and food sector and economy beyond. And if we take that into account and support policy making in telling that story again and again, I think then you have a development that opens up for private, uh, for private investment.